Hey, my name's James Tuckerson and welcome to this channel. Now, today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of the buy, refurbish, refinance strategy. Now, this is a strategy that I absolutely love because what ultimately can happen is you can end up in a very short period of time getting all of your money back that you've spent on a deal. So let's just quickly talk about what is the buy, refurbish, refinance strategy. Well, that's when you're going to buy a property and I did this at auction, right? So I just bought a property in Doncaster for £60,000 at auction. And then I needed to, so I bought it and then I needed to refurbish it. So the refurbishment costs were around £12,000, which was pretty good. Uh, and so we refurbished the property, we put in new carpets, we decorated, we plastered, new bathroom, new kitchen, garden sorted for £12,000, which was really, really good, right? And then we refinanced. So what does that mean? Well, that means that we went then went back to the bank and said, look, we want to put a new mortgage on this property. And... We refinanced, they came round, and the value that we'd added to the property now made it worth £100,000, right? Now, if you get a buy-to-let mortgage, you can release or borrow 75% of the value of the property, which means that they would lend us £75,000. We'd paid £60,000 to buy the property, we paid twelve pounds to do it up, and then there was legal fees and stamp duties and other things, which came to around £3,000. So that meant that we pretty much got all of our money back. And that sounds like an inc a great deal. So let's talk about what is the pros and cons of this type of strategy. Because I think this is a good strategy for people that wanna make real wealth. Now we talk about all different strategies on here. We talk about high cash flow strategies uh, and various different things like that. But this is a really good strategy for those that want really good capital appreciation. And you can take one deposit and hopefully roll it along into many, many deals over the next few years, meaning you can grow your portfolio very, very fast. So let's look at the pros first. Well, at the end of this deal, right, so I took a, I mean, if you want to see what the house was like in Doncaster, I've put uh, tons of videos on this channel. So after you've watched this, go and check it out. Uh, in fact, in the comments, I'll pin uh, so you can see when we purchased the auction, right? So we bought this house it was horrible but at the end of it we've got a beautiful refurbished house new plastering new carpets new kitchen new bathroom everything is just really really nice and now, as a landlord that's a great place to start because it means that there's a higher higher now we can't guarantee anything in life but there's a higher chance that we might not need to do any future refurbishments um for a while right which is good so we've got a refurbished house, that's a pro, tick. Happy with that. Uh, now, if all went well, which it did on this deal, but you know, you never know, the market might shift or maybe you might spend too much on doing the refurbishment, but all being well, you're gonna get all of your money back, right? Now, if you don't get all your money back straight away, that's fine because the house is gonna go up in value. So you might wait two years, and do a refinance in two years and then pull all your money out. But you get all your money out pretty quick, right? Uh, and so if you if you don't get all your money out, it's still better than a normal buy-to-let. You're gonna get some of your money back. Whereas if you buy just a normal vanilla buy-to-let, you have to leave 25% in. So this strategy really helps with that. And that means you're gonna get a very high return on your money, right? So the money that either <coughs> you've left in the deal or maybe you've left no money in the deal, so then the return is infinite, right? The, the return on investment is infinite, which is crazy, right? That's really, really powerful stuff. And so that means that this strategy, if you do it well, is very good. But not everything goes well every time that you do it. So let's look at what are the cons of the buy, refurbish, refinance strategy. Well, time, right? So there was time involved. I had to get builders, I had to go there and inspect the work. Um, which meant that I had to stay up north a few times. Uh, and so that takes out from my time, right? And so I had to physically go and do that. Now, as you get bigger at this, maybe you can get a team of people to do that. This was a new area, a new builder, so I just wanted to see what was going on. So there's time, right? Now, maybe that time as well gets 
elongated. Maybe they take longer to do the job. Maybe they take longer, longer to start the job or finish the job. Uh, or maybe something comes up. Uh, that could happen. Like when we did ours, there was a flood from the bathroom into the kitchen. Fortunately, the new kitchen wasn't in there at that point. Uh, but these sorts of things add time onto projects. Uh, now, it can use a lot of cash up. Now, you can JV with people on these types of deals. Uh, and that would mean that if you JV'd with people, they would uh, help fund the project. But it can use a lot of project, a lot of cash, right? So if you're looking to buy a kitchen, a bathroom, uh, you, you might need that money there up front to be able to get it back in the future, right? And so, yeah, I'll be buying bathrooms and kitchens and all these sorts of things. Uh, and I've got to spend that money out. Of course, I'm going to get it back. But that means that it is going to use some cash flow to do this. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Uh, before we go through the last two, give me a quick like on the video, guys, because that really helps me with YouTube. So take two seconds, smash the like button. Go on. Um, now, yeah, delays as well. So there are all sorts of delays. Um, we've done a lot of projects in uh, the pandemic. And one thing that was really hard for us was, and a lot of people had this problem, was there wasn't any plaster for a long time and it was very very hard to get plaster in fact people were selling plaster on ebay uh, and then the plasterers then had a backlog of jobs and so they needed to finish the jobs that they were on uh, and those sorts of delays can come up we had an issue with a bathroom where one of the parts was missing from the bathroom suite and we had to wait two weeks to get that finished and signed off to get the new part in that stuff happens, guys, right? You can't control that, really. But you do need to understand that there could be some delays and that could be a con of doing this. Now, when you start out and you're new, if you haven't got someone helping you, it can be a little stressful, right? Um, There the, the can be things that, as we said, go wrong. Uh, one thing that is a little stressful sometimes is uh, getting the refinance done. Mortgage companies can be slow. Solicitors can be slow and you just want to get that money back as quick as you can. So you've got to understand that not everyone works on your pace. You've got to understand that you might need to push people along to get the completion done as and when you need it. That's very, very important. All of this stuff together to know that, and that goes part and parcel of having a very, very good project. Now, with the pros and the cons, do I think the buy, refurbish, refinance strategy is a winner? Yes, I think it's probably the best strategy out there. I think it's a very solid strategy to grow your wealth. Two reasons. One, you're going to get cash flow from the rent once you rent the property out. Two, you're going to get your money back, your deposits back so you can recycle and you can go again. Three, you've got a refurbished property. That's really, really important. That means that's going to reduce your maintenance costs significantly uh, than if you have an older property. And the most important one is you're going to own the property, you're going to hold the property and you're going to keep it forever. And then you're going to get all the capital appreciation. Remember, house prices double every 10 years on average. And so, yeah, a 100 grand house that we've got now will be worth 200 grand in 10 years. And that is very, very powerful uh, to be able to take that 10 grand a year from something that I've left no money in and I'm buying another property right now with the money from that. So that's what I think. What do you think? Comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on the buy, refurbish, refinance strategy. Uh, do check out my other videos. As I said, I'm going to pin a video where I bought at auction. Uh, and I'd love to invite you to join us on a live event that we're doing very soon. You can get yourself in the VIP list so you know when tickets are out. I'll put a link in the description. Click on that link, put your details in, and then you'll know straight away when those tickets are out. Go and check out the other videos on the channel. Stay blessed, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.